All right, guys, so here we are again on another adventure of White Trash Guide to Buffets Across America. Today, uh, I'm going to a place that I was turned on to by a friend of mine, Al. Gonna have to give a shout out to old Aloysius there. Uh, he turned me on to this joint. You know, I mean, it's Mediterranean food. It's very close to his, uh, his uh, motherland, Greek. It's it's very uh, close to Greek food. It's uh, Mediterranean. You know, they all share the same sea and ocean. So shout out to Al. Thanks for turning me on to this joint. Um, been in this place many, many times. Uh, you come on the weekend. I don't know if it's Saturday and Sunday or if it's just one day or not. They uh, do lamb. And man, it's amazing. Uh, so again, we're going to hit up this joint, Demasi's uh, Mediterranean Buffet and uh, see how much we could put away in the old uh, gullet. Fill this old fat gut up. So here we are, uh, oh, the lights in, in the camera there, can't see, there we go. There we go, Demasi's Mediterranean Buffet. We're about to tear this joint up. They got nice outside dining if you want, but then you gotta walk f further in to get to the buffet. And I ain't about all that walking. Sit me closer to the food and I'm good. So here we go, there's the buffet line. Look at all that good food. Look at all that good food. Yes, that's what we're gonna tear up today. All right, this, so there's round one. Got a, got a falafel, got some of that uh, zatar flatbread, some grape leaves, some uh, baba ganoush, some kind of uh, meat patties, I forgot what they call them, but they're good. Some rice with, uh, beans and some spinach the way they make it and then some vegetables uh, squash and zucchini and I got some pinto bean salad and that's gonna be round one guys all right so there's round one and there's there's it from another point of view so let's dig into this all right let's let's knock out one of these little grape leaves This is delicious. I'm just hoping that whatever music's playing on the loudspeaker isn't copywritten and whatever because it's kind of loud. And I got this other grape leaf. Sometimes I get these at my, my local grocery store. They'll have them on their salad bar. Very delicious. Yeah. Let's try some of this uh, pinto bean salad. It's got cilantro in it. I can taste them. Not so much on cilantro, but. They use it sparingly, so it's all good. Got onions and tomatoes and mint. 
It's a cold salad, but it's good. If I'm not mistaken, falafels ain't nothing more than smashed chickpeas and batter fried. But <laughs> man, they're amazing. And then on my way on this joint, damn, I just thought about it. I was getting ready to come in. And this lady and her husband, her, her uh, sorry, her father, stopped me and said, uh, hey, can my daddy take a picture with you? I'm like, what? Yeah, okay, whatever. So, uh, from the front out, the guy's Iranian. And uh, he's like, man, I, his, his wife, I mean, not his wife, his daughter said, my daddy told me in our language, this, I can't believe that they have men here with big beards like back home. He wanted to take a picture of an American with a big ass terrorist beard. So I took a picture with him, took two pictures with him. I should have got him to say, white trash guy at the buffet is across my eyes. They didn't think about it until just now. Because that would have been funny. Maybe next time. I love these, uh, this squash and this uh, zucchini. The way they make it. I want to say it's got uh, lemon juice in it. Onions and, and garlic. Very delicious. This is probably one of the healthiest buffets you can go to. Which is uh, usually not the case at most buffets. Very healthy food here. Spinach is very delicious, got cheese on top. off that pinto bean salad. There's some over here though. Hiding under my bread. My unleavened bread. Put my baba ganoush. It's just fun to say y'all. Say it with me. Baba ganoush. Trim up the stash. I trimmed the, the middle, but I need to trim up the side, start to eat on it. This rice is excellent, too. Very fluffy, very light. Got about four or five different rices up there. Kind of has lentil beans in it. Very good. We got this meat here. It's called a kraft. K A F T. Kraft. Kebab. It's a ground beef patty. Of 
cross between a meatloaf and a hamburger. Cut into strips. Very good. Very moist. Very flavorful. And they have onions and bell pepper with it. Very good. Let's get some more of this bubble ganache. It's still fun to say. Let's do the lamb on Sunday. I don't think I'm up there. A little bird nest. I also have one of their their type drinks here. Something I think it's uh, I've had it once. It looks like Kool-Aid, but it's not. It's uh, rose water, I believe. It's an acquired taste. I'll try some just so I could remember to tell you about it. Get enough breath in my bottle to
frumpy looking hipster chicks down here. I mean frumpy. Frumpy, dumpy, and large and in charge hipsters. <laughs> That's the end of round one. Let's go get another round of this goodness here because there's a lot more stuff up there that I want to introduce y'all to and put in my face. So there's round two. <clears throat> got some grilled, uh, they do a lot of zucchini and squash, which don't hurt me any. And they got some eggplant and some tomatoes and onions grilled. Some uh, sauteed pan fried cauliflower. And then this salad over here, I wasn't going to get any, but I like the name of it. I've had it before, it's very good. It's called Fat Tous, F-A-T-T-O-U-S-H. It's just got the word fat in it, so I had to get it. And then I got some shredded beef, some of their style meatballs, and some rice with uh, pasta in it, or what's that, vasimi, but... Steve Buscemi kind of noodles. I don't know what it is. And then it got this fabulous chicken and penne with uh, mushrooms and this awesome sauce. That's what I, I don't know what it's called, but I'm just going to call it awesome sauce because that shit is awesome. All right. And there's the drink. As I told you, like you can see behind my tea, the rose water. We'll try some of that up. So let's flip this around and knock out round two. All right. So here we go with round two. Some of those grilled veggies. tomatoes they don't hold up very well they get mushy but they taste very good one of their meatballs. I haven't had one of their meatballs before. First time. Little baby bay meatballs. Cook with their spices and everything, but put in a marinara sauce. Marinara sauce is kind of weak. thing about this joint I don't like is if you're drinking like a tea or something I mean everything's self-service it's a buffet but if you sit down and you forget to get your sugar if you're having tea or whatever you got to get up there's no sugar shake no sugar shaker no sugar packets on the table no napkins on the table none of the napkin holders only thing on the table salt and pepper want any of that other stuff you better get up off your behind and go get it But other than that, I can't complain.
on top of having Baba Ganesh. I'll just say that again, Baba Ganesh. They got hummus. Got all kinds of stuff. Shredded beef and I got it sitting in some kind of sauce that they make. Don't know what it's in, but it's very good. Very tender. Put that on football, it'd be fine. And this chicken here, this this is probably one of my favorites. Chicken Aru, I don't know how to pronounce it. So again, I'm not on the Mediterranean, but it's A R U R A. It's very delicious. If you're Lebanese or Greek or whatever, and you know how to make that shit, please tell me. Because I'll make that at home in a heartbeat. Thanks to my buddy Al. I already know how to make them uh, sauteed, uh, the way they saute their... Uh, Zucchini and uh, squash with lemon and Greek seasoning and salt and pepper, a little garlic. Oh man, I make that from time to time at home. Again, thanks, brother Al. Little lemon, good stuff. Let's try this fat salad here. It's funny that it's got the word fat in it. It's all healthy. Cucumbers, onions, tomatoes, mint, cilantro. Very light, very fresh, very delicious. Sitting in all that uh, sauce, this chicken's kind of dry, but very flavorful. My only complaint: chicken's a little dry, and it's sitting in a sauce. It's just the chicken itself that's a little dry. It might have been a little overcooked. I don't know. But it's very good. Better than getting salmonella because they didn't have that advertised on the buffet. Tear up some more of that shredded beef. Put it in your mouth, yeah.
of this is cube, I'm, I'm going to assume chicken breast because it's white meat. The sauce is what makes that dish. I could eat just the sauce with the noodles. I'm, sure, I'm thinking for sure that would be good with uh, some shrimp. Boil some shrimp and then put it in that sauce. Good lord. Might make you want to smack somebody. Ugh. And I misspoke, they do have lamb today, so it must be on Saturdays. And usually the weekends are a little more expensive. Because they put the lamb. I like to take this rice with the... With the steamed bashimi noodles. And uh, mix it in the rest of that sauce. sure I get all that sauce because that sauce is you could probably put a dog turd in there and it would be good I know I never get a dog turd but I'm still with that sauce it would make it a little palatable Beef was hot when I first got it, but just that fast it, it got rum temp quick. Didn't retain its heat. Another thing you could do here is uh, while you go through the buffet line, you can tell the little guy that's back there that you want some gyro meat, as I like to call it, gyro. And they'll, they don't put it on a bar, but they'll make it for you. And they've got the bread off to the side, you make your own gyro. Ain't that a Black Sabbath song? Hero, the hero. I think so. Oh, 
on that Born Again album. I think it's uh, that Greek theme, Euro the Hero. So, that ended round two. Clean up the old mug there. Let's try this uh, rose water here. Just like I remembered it. That's good. It's a... Uh, very um, aromatic. But what's funny is, just to sniff it, you can't smell it. But when you put it in your mouth and take a breath, you think you got a rosebud in your mouth. It's an acquired taste, that's for sure. And it's like a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The taste when you drink it and you breathe in is when you get the smell. And it smells like an old lady's house. Like, it reminds me of the smells in my great-grandma's house. Like, uh... Not so much mothballs, but just that nasty spray or candles that them old folks burn. And that's what this reminds me of when I... And again, just to sniff it, you can't smell it. But if you go... You get right there. Ooh. Fat man can't do no more. I made a half a glass, and that's about a half a glass too much. So, all right, I'm gonna go back to my iced tea. And uh, you know what? I don't want to waste. I'm white trash, but I ain't gonna waste. I'm gonna just down it all at once. Man, let's say a couple hail marys and a couple all fathers as far as. Oh, Lord. God and baby Jesus, have mercy on me. Woo, Lord. Again, that's an acquired case, y'all. Good luck with that. <clears throat> All right, let's go for round four, uh, round three. All right, so there's round three. We got their grilled chicken that sits in some kind of sauce with a uh, hot and black pepper, it says. Uh, got some other kind of chicken over here. It looks like some kind of, almost like a curry chicken. And there's, look at that big old lamb shank. Was I got lamb for shank, which is like, we got a big old hunk of bone sticking out of it. So my meat's got a boner. And we got some of the rice with carrots and peas and their uh, cabbage salad. And then there's uh, their Lebanese salad, which is tomatoes, onions, uh, cucumbers, and then we got some uh, hummus. All right, so let me flop this around and we'll uh, get to tearing it up. So here we are back for round three. Very good. We ain't got radish in it.
still had their cabbage salad, which is, I guess, their version of coleslaw. It's dry, don't have mayonnaise in it. Very good. It's like a, um, like a vinegary coleslaw. That is so pretty good. Enjoying it. This is the first time I'm trying to rice with peas and carrots. Funny story about peas and carrots, carrots and peas. If you had a party, and or you're out and about with somebody, somebody, and you think somebody's going to come and talk to you, somebody once told me, you just look to the other person and say, carrots and peas, peas and carrots, carrots and peas, peas and carrots, carrots and peas. It looks like you're holding a conversation with somebody and they more than likely will not come up and talk to you. I don't know, I never had that problem. Well, I mean, I've had the problem of people, weird people coming up and talking to me, but never was afforded the uh, opportunity to do the character piece, piece, and character piece, and character, character piece. So, let me try the hummus. I forgot to get some of the bread, so I'm just going to try the hummus by itself. Yeah, this definitely... A little more watery, not watery, a little more liquidy than most hummus. It's still very good, very tasty. So the white trash hits the chicks. The herd has left. I was going to see if I could talk to him to do a promo for this, but not such luck. like curry chicken, but I don't know. We'll give it a bit. I don't think it's curry chicken. Too. Do something bird neck. At least we know the bird nest bib is doing its job. Keep my shirt clean. Right, let's see.
I've got a delicious flavor. <laughs> grilled chicken with the black and hot pepper. How good. Just wish it was boneless. But it's all fries. It's all these good styles. Guess what? That man don't care if it's got bone in it. I'll pick it off. No problem. Bone right there. That flavor's so good. Just suck the bone. That one is good. Interesting. How those senorita in running pants, running shirt, tight fitting, little hard body with an old white beard. Well, at least it looks white. He could have been one of the white Hispanic guys. I don't know. But he looked old enough to be a couple. I don't know if uh, that's Sugar Daddy or if that's Granddaughter. He's a way kind of funny. Well, let's get into this lamb. Very tender, very, very tender. As you can see, it just fell off the bone. They got big old shanks sitting in some kind of sauce. Every once in a while, or once a year, I get a wild hair up my butt. I'll get some lamb chops. But I don't make them like this, I make them with mint. Cook them almost like a pork chop, but with garlic and mint. Look at that fall off the bone. See that look at that, just falling off the bone. Do a little punk skin there. It's so tender, just, I guess that falls off the bone.
very moist, very delicious. I was under this joint about a month ago. He was impressed. But he hasn't, want, he hasn't been impressed enough to come back since I started doing these episodes. Because he said he wanted to try something different, and that's how we ended up at Poncho's. And after it was over, on the ride home, that little sucker said, Anyway, so he said, Dad, yeah, we, we should have went to the mouses. Because the mouses is a lot healthier, a lot more flavorful, and uh, very good. That's the solid factor. If the fat man ever opens his own restaurant, there will be a screaming baby tax. I don't want to hear all that nonsense. And I've got a kid. I used to take that man, that little boy everywhere. Never heard a peep out of him. Guess we got lucky. I read one time somewhere in Florida they did that. A restaurant imposed a screaming baby fee. Yeah, I was fat. I'll eat beef fat, but lamb fat? Uh-uh. Oh, nasty. All right, so I think I picked this thing pretty clean. A couple more little pieces here. And that's a dead soldier. All right, let's end of round three.
I've had just about everything on the menu. Look at uh, had some kind of potatoes up there. Like some kind of chunky potato salad. I ain't trying none of that. They had some uh, chunks of potatoes that were fried up. I didn't try none of that. So, but I will go get a little bit more of the uh, sauteed vegetables. I do like that. All right, so let me pause this up and we're going for round four. All right, so round four, we got some more of that uh, sauteed um, zucchini and squash. We got some a piece of baked tilapia. There's those potatoes I was telling you about. Got two of those and got some eggplant, pomegranate, and then back there, that little green stuff. That's uh, some kind of salad I've never had before. And then their version of stewed okra and stewed green beans. Never tried either one of those before. We're gonna try them up real quick. All right, let me flip y'all around and we're gonna go with round four. All right, so here we go. Do this eggplant and pomegranate. It's very tender, falling apart as I cut it. Not too keen on it. Then again, pomegranate to acquire taste. Not a fan. Right, let me get some of this little salad here. See what it's about. Some kind of. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. But it tastes like something that I've had before. It's very dry. Okay, so there's two things I found out that I didn't really care for. It's very crisp. Very dry. I don't know. Those potatoes look like they've been sitting up there for a while, so they might be room temp. I don't know. Not bad, but yeah, they've been sitting there a while. Guess it's a tough version of a French fry, I don't know. Like a home steak fry almost. Just not as greasy. It's definitely grilled. Good flavor. But when there's so much other good stuff up there. Let's so let's try this tilapia. We've also got fried chicken. I don't know if it's any different than American fried chicken or if it's just up there for the kids. And it's got fried tilapia too. Tilapia. However, they cook it, it's dry but very flavorful. Let's get into these green beans. 
still going there. Okay. Very similar to how we would do our okra in Louisiana. Except for done with green beans. Very similar. Very good. Alright. Alright, so on to the okra. Their version of stewed okra. It's a different kind of sauce than in green beans. I like liquor. Just don't know about that sauce there. It's a little different than regular stewed okra. If it would have been in that, it would have been just like ours. But this is a little different. That man is bad though. Alright, so that's knocked out. Thing left is just a uh, little extra zucchini and squash, which I love. Just open this music. It's uh, either unrecognizable or not on uh, YouTube. It is rather loud. Sounds like elevator music, but. It's their uh, Middle Eastern style sound and music. Yeah. Got it. Alright, so that was excellent. So now, uh, it is uh, off to the dessert bar. And yeah, they got one thing on this dessert bar that is freaking fantastic. Let me pause this up and we're going to 
get some water with lemon and uh, go get a couple pieces of dessert. All right, so there we go. Um, two pieces of baklava and I got some Mexican help in the kitchen, so uh, I don't know. Ask him what that was. He said a cookie. That don't look like no cookie to me. He said that's a cookie too, but I don't know what the hell that is. It's no cookie. It looks like almost like a pound cake or something, but I've never had those two before, so we're going to try it. But the baklava is freaking amazing. So let's uh, flip this around and knock that out. All right, so there we go. Dessert round. Let's try this. Very dry. Got some kind of fruit layer in the middle. Just good dunk it in some milk. Or just have a glass of milk with it. Very dry. Let's see what this is. Very uh, moist looking on the bottom, almost glistens in the light. And the top looks like it's cooked well, real heavy, dense. Not a fan. It's almost like a consistency of like a cornbread, but it's not with the bottom very moist, very heavy though. Don't like the flavor. The baklava on the other hand. Oh. If any of my uh Greek or Mediterranean friends know how to make this, please show me. This baklava is amazing. There's this uh, Bosnian joint. I think it was Bosnian. I saw it on that, that show they had drive-ins, diners and dumps. With that dude in the Camaro. He went to it. It was on one of his episodes called Cafe Pita. I went there. And they have a baklava cheesecake. Oh, wow. Amazing. But it's just regular baklava. And it's fire.
and his box was amazing. Shake out the bird nest. Very funny. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Asian lady or young girl, I'd say mid 20s, mid to late 20s. Sitting at the table right over there. She just left. Don't know what kind of Asian she was, but she was definitely Asian. Sounded like a California Valley girl. <laughs> I heard her talking on the phone. That was the weirdest thing. I was expecting to hear like an Asian style, uh, either Asian language or Asian sounding accent. California, California Valley girl. That was funny. I hope y'all can pick some of that up on here. But anyway. I feel like such a fat ass. So this table right in front of me here, they done... They got here right after me. Came, ate, left. A little Asian chick that was right there at the table next to me. Came way after me, ate, left. Uh, the hipster, the hipster tubbies. They ate and left, man. I'm fat ass, I'm still here. A lot of getting and going here. They eat and they leave. One round, one round wusses. Maybe that much white trash I drink with my pinky out, huh? I've been doing that for years. Sophisticated white trash I am. All right, so let's reflect. Start rating, you know what's coming next. The flip-flop game. All right, so cleanliness of the place very clean give them four four and a half flip-flops the wait staff I mean you really don't talk to the wait staff there is none except for the little guy that comes and cleans your plate cleans your table off when you finish your plate uh, they don't bug you so give them four flip-flops on that they pretty quick at clearing off your plate off your table except for this go around that is a little slacking uh, give them four and a half flip-flops the food taste, minus the three things that I didn't like the taste of, they got to get five flip-flops, without a doubt, five flip-flops. Choices, five flip-flops. Uh, like I said, on a weekend, Saturdays for sure, they do the lamb. It's a little more expensive because they do the lamb. I haven't paid yet, so I don't even know what the price is. Hope I don't have to wash dishes. Uh, or have to just joust out, you know, just run. Because this fat man, half crippled, can't run. I wouldn't get far to tackle my big ass. Beat me up and tie me in the back and make me wash dishes. So, unless you like lamb and you definitely got your heart set on eating lamb, come during the week for lunch because everything else is the same. They put out, they take off the lamb off there and they put some other dish on there. But I remember having it and it's still very good. Or they stretch out one of the pans, like one of the, the, the you saw the way the buffet is. You could do a half, half tray or a whole tray. I think they just take one of the ones that they normally do a half for and make it a, a whole tray. That's what I think they do. I'm not 100% sure, but... Unless, like I said, unless you dead set on eating lamb, come during the week. It's cheaper. Um, I'll find out how much cheaper when I go to pay. I'll let you know. But uh, 
atmosphere. Four and a half, five foot drops. So by far, this is one of the better buffets. Healthy food, all healthy, all vegetables. And there's only two things on there that were fried. Well, three, counting the chicken. Uh, but everything's, you know, not heavy sauce or whatever. It's very good, very healthy. Uh, so overall, I'm going to have to give them four and three quarter flip flops, borderlining on five, because this place is amazing. Again, shout out to my brother, Aloysius. Thanks for turning me on to this joint. I wish I could get up here more often, but, you know, I don't. But, yeah, this is a good place, so go check them out. If you uh, like the video, you like the, you were entertained, informed or anything, see that little like button down there, little subscribe button? Click them. Click them both. See the little comment section down there? Leave a comment. I'll reply back to you. Um, you know, you know the drill. Tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma, share it with your family and friends. Fat man just trying to get paid to get to the next buffet, you hear me? All right. So as that, uh, as I learned from that dude on that beer commercial, stay thirsty, my friend? No. Go to the buffet and don't be hungry, my friend. Till next time. Y'all stay safe. Keep your gut full. And uh, just have a good time with life. Peace out. You heard me, Woody? All right, so here I am outside of Demasi's on the way out. And uh, talked to the little dude behind the counter. Talked to two little dudes. I talked to one of the manager guys, and I talked to... Hold on, let me make sure I don't get my fat ass run over. Um, I talked to the manager guy. He said it's it's mostly Lebanese, but it's some Indian. Very little, but uh, it's a mixture of Lebanese, Greek... Uh, Turkey, you know, all those uh, Middle Eastern and bordering the uh, Mediterranean Sea type food. Uh, very good, very yummy. Uh, the guy behind the jockey in the register, he said it's $11.99 during the week plus tax. And on Saturday and Sunday, it's uh, $13.89. And it brought it up to $14.99 with tax. Uh, that includes your drink. You don't have you, you don't get the chance to opt out for water because it's included in there. So if you're gonna get something to drink, get something to drink. Um, yeah, very good. Um, lamb only on Saturdays. So if you go on Sundays, expect to still pay the higher price and get no lamb. So if you want lamb, definitely come on Saturday only. Uh, if you want a little cheaper, go for lunch. Again, he said dinner's a little more expensive. I think dinner's $12.99. Um, lunch is $11.99. Save yourself a buck. Nothing different. Just cheaper. I don't know why restaurants do that. Unless they're offering more food or better quality, different quantities, uh, different type of stuff. I don't know why restaurants change different prices. Like, I understand today they got lamb on the thing, charging a little more. Lamb's expensive. But anyway... Peace out.